everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype. We are back with some Minecraft vanilla tutorials, and today we are going to be covering foods in vanilla Minecraft. And uh, just to let you know, I will be using iron nuggets to show how many hunger points you'll get from eating things. So let's start with chickens. So if you kill a chicken, you'll get one or a few raw chicken pieces and you can eat that and it will give you two hunger points but if you cook it you will then get six hunger points now fish and i put a polar bear here because if you kill them you'll get <clears throat> a few types of fish now you'll get regular raw fish and raw salmon now if you eat either one of them you'll get two food points now if you cook it uh, there is a slight difference. With regular fish, if it's cooked, you'll get five food points, and cooked salmon will give you six. Now, onto sheepies. If you kill one, you'll get raw mutton, and that will cover two food points. And you'll kind of see that most raw meat will be roughly about two points. But if you cook it, you will get six food points. Now, for piggies, if you kill them, you can get raw pork chop and here's where it starts going up a little bit you'll get three food points um, but if you cook it you will get eight so as you go up <laughs> in the animal sizes I guess well pigs doesn't really count uh, the cooked meat will give you more now onto cows you will get raw beef and that will give you again similar to the pigs three food points also, if you cook it, you will get eight food points if you eat it that way. You can also get milk from them. They don't satisfy any any food points, but they take away good and bad buffs. So if you're poisoned, it will remove that. But say you get a regeneration potion thrown on you, if you drink it, it'll remove that as well. So. Uh, I did show in the friendly mobs uh, how to do it, but you basically take an empty bucket, right click on a cow, and you will get milk. Now onto the bunnies, which is not the best one to choose just for the sake they're a pain in the butt unless you have bow and arrows. So this one's kind of interesting, it gives you a few different options. So if you kill a bunny, you'll get raw rabbit meat, and that you can eat for three points. If you cook it, you'll get five points. Or <laughs> you can get rabbit stew and fill a whole 10 points, which is almost the highest you can get for food stuffs. Now how you make that is you get an empty wooden bowl, put it at the bottom of your crafting table, then above that a cooked baked potato, and then above that cooked rabbit, <laughs> and in the middle row you get a regular carrot, and on the right side a brown mushroom. I did try this with a red and it didn't seem to work, but being you can only carry one bowl at a time, it is not, it's not the best option. Um, now to mushrooms, so another kind of thing, you can't, if you kill them you'll get raw beef and and same thing with right clicking with a bucket you'll still get milk <clears throat> but you can make a mushroom stew which will replace six hunger points now how you make this is get an empty bowl and then put a brown and a red mushroom um, and these don't necessarily have to be in this position like they could be like that but as long as they're above the bowl <laughs> you'll get that and <laughs> Because it's sunny out and a zombie would die, I just decided to use a zombie horse. Here's where it gets a little interesting on foodstuffs. Now, you can eat rotten flesh, and if that is all you got, go for it. Um, but try to avoid it. It will give you food <laughs> for food points. However, it will poison you, and it kind of defeats the purpose of getting those food points. <clears throat> Now we're covering a few of the other edibles you can eat, but I would recommend not. So puffer fish, you can eat it. It'll give you one food point, but it will poison you. Um, poisonous potato, I think right in the name it tells you, it'll give you two food points, but again, it will poison you. And same thing with spider eyes for two food points. All of which these will poison you and defeat the purpose of eating. <laughs> 
Now we're going on to a few of the creations with some food products. Uh, and mind you, things like weed and cocoa and all that uh, will be in another tutorial on uh, things that you can't necessarily eat raw by itself, such as just wheat, um, but is useful. <laughs> all right, so cookies, you'll get like in dungeons and stuff, or you can make them, but uh, no. Um, you can get two food points from eating one cookie, and all you need is two wheat, one on each side of a cocoa bean, and that'll give you three cookies. Uh, if that's all you got, go for it, but it's kind of a waste of resource. Now, this one is pumpkin pie, and that is delicious. This was actually pretty good. Uh, it'll give you um, eight food points, and all you need is a pumpkin, an egg, and sugar. And again, you don't necessarily have to do it in a row. You can kind of have them in an unshaped, but it, for the most part, any shape will uh, bring you the uh, pumpkin pies. And that is definitely a good one to choose. Now, the cake. <laughs> This is the one that'll give you the most food points. However, you can't really carry this one around. Uh, you can lay it on tables and then right click and eat it one piece at a time. So just eating one piece does not give you 14 food points, but it will say if you're, <laughs> if you're starving, you can basically eat the whole cake for the most part and it'll replace all that. Now how you make that is three buckets of milk and I told you how you can get those. Two sugars, one on the side of an egg, which will be right in the middle, and then the bottom row will be all wheat, and that will give you a cake. Um, I think this is a good option for when you go back to your home, like zone back to your home, and you may be out of food. It's a quick food source. Now here's a not super new uh, add to Minecraft, but it's not from the beginning, uh, is beetroot. Now, it, you can eat it, but it's not really going to do much for you. Uh, it's just one food hunger point. <clears throat> but you can also make beetroot soup, which is six. And again, you can't really stack bowl dishes because, well, <laughs> they're full. <laughs> and how you do that is just get six beetroots, put them on top of a bowl in a crafting table, and there you go. And to bread, which is one of the most common uh, non-meat foods you'll either find or um, create. It does use up a lot of wheat over time, but it's really easy um, to start off. And a piece of bread will give you five food points. And all you do is put in a crafting table three wheat in a row. Now, a potato by itself can give you one food point and most eating <laughs> eating most of the foods raw are going to give you very low hunger points uh, but if you cook it it will give you five and this is one of my favorite because you can stack 64 uh, baked potatoes um, and it gives you a good uh, it, it gives you enough hunger to be replaced uh, if you don't have meat now melons it's just two points <laughs> and how you get melons is you either grow them or you find them out in the wild you break a, a melon block and that's what you get and now we're getting into some of the more interesting ones uh, the golden apple and apples apples by itself are relatively common if you break uh, any regular trees down like oak dark oak birch and they'll replace four food points not the most <sighs> you can stack a bunch of apples but it's n it isn't the best option but if that's all you got go for it and then there's also a golden apple and a enchanted golden apple uh, which both uh, will replace four so really I wouldn't use these if you just have this. They're all for hunger points. And to make a golden apple, you take eight gold ingots and surround an apple with that. And a enchanted golden apple are just basically found in dungeons. A golden carrot <laughs> and a regular carrot. Uh, regular carrot is three hunger points. This is a little different than the apples, is that the golden carrot will actually replace six hunger points. 
However, with both golden food stuffs, I would recommend not using it. Um, because gold is kind of a pain to get in vanilla Minecraft, and to create it is you put a carrot right in the middle and surround it with gold nuggets. Now, we're getting to the last couple interesting ones is the chorus plant, and that drops when you hit the chorus plant tree, and you can eat that with four hunger points satisfied. So all you have to do is and there it goes. Oh, of course. And I punched through the wall. <laughs> now, the last two are really useless items, but I figured I'd cover it anyways, is the clownfish, which will give you exactly one food point. They're not super common. They're super useless unless you're breeding cats. Um, can't cook it. Not recommended. And a bottle of water, which has no hunger point satisfaction. Um, but you can drink it. But what water bottles are used for is brewing, and we'll go into that in another tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!